people in this video we are going to see uh, the purpose of uh, using the application properties so you can see uh, the project and when you click on this project you can see something called src and uh, in that src you can see main then java then uh, we can see the package which we have created in the previous tutorials then uh, we have created the hello in the previous tutorial and uh, below you can see something called as resources click on the resources and you can see something called as application dot properties and uh, the main purpose of this application dot property is this help us to define uh, the properties like uh, the database name and other uh, stuffs related to the thing so here uh, we can uh, put some like uh, the database name followed by the name of the database then the credential of the database etc so what uh, i'm going to demonstrate is i'm going to use this application dot properties and i'm going to get the content from this application dot properties to the program in which we have created for example so i'm going to create something called app dot followed by some name so this is the user defined property and there are plenty of uh, predefined properties are there for example the string application dot name is a is a predefined property and uh, so this app dot name is uh, user defined property so and i'm going to uh, put it as the app hello as the app name and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this app hello uh, with the help of this property app dot name from this hello so to do that uh, what uh, we can do is first we will create uh, some variable to store that so i'm going to use string so i'm going to use the variable name app dot name app name sorry app name and i'm going to fetch this uh, application dot property from this uh, uh, application dot properties to this hello so for that uh, there is another annotation called at followed by value and this value can be uh, can be generated like this first we have to put the double quotes followed by the dollar symbol in open curly bracket then close curly bracket within this we have to put the uh, application content for example the content is app dot name so you paste it here and uh, so this app name will be app hello because we have assigned uh, we have used something called as value annotation and this will assign here and uh, we can print this here for example hello world the name of the application is plus app name so save it and we can run it so running yeah so we can open the browser type the localhost 8080 you'll get the white label error page then we have to put the mapping and you'll get hello world the name of the application is app hello so this is the purpose of uh, the application property here uh, we have uh, specified something called uh, user defined app dot name so there are plenty of thing is there like spring dot h2 dot console this kind of uh, thing is a predefined kind of thing we will uh, discuss that in the upcoming videos and uh, the main content of uh, the main uh, thing can be pushed can be applied here uh, for example if the programmer wants to connect this application with the database he can put all the content of uh, the database information will be there so with the help of uh, this annotation at value we can assign it to the variable name 
and we can use it for uh, our application so in the next video we will see some other uh, uh, property called uh, application dot uh, yml so we will do the same kind of stuff uh, uh, in a different manner thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to this channel